Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video this evening. I hope you're doing great. And so we will be taking a look at the latest for this disturbance off the coast of Africa that is propagating westward. And we'll also be looking at what is happening across the Caribbean and surrounding areas this afternoon. There are some thunderstorms across some spots. Meanwhile, for others, it is pretty dry and sunny uh, and hazy as well as that Saharan dust sets in. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. So let's get straight into it. And as we look off the coast of Africa, here we see all of this uh, disorganized shower activity. Now, this is in association uh, with that disturbance as well as the intertropical convergence zone. And uh, that is where the trade winds of the north and south meet. And when they do, that helps to increase the precipitation. So that is what we're seeing happening here. But we're not seeing anything organized here. You can hardly tell that there is actually a disturbance marked here, but it is. So as we go on to the latest update, there we have Dawn up there maintaining winds of around 50 miles per hour and not a threat to land. And there we have the disturbance well to the southeast of it. So uh, it is going to be making its way toward the west, headed for the Caribbean. And uh, there are ifs in terms of whether this will develop or not. And I will be showing you guys uh, what the models have to show very shortly. We will be looking at four of them. Uh, so we'll have a good picture of what they're all expecting and if they're in agreement. So this is going to continue moving westward. It should enter some more conducive conditions as we head to uh, early next week and so it could possibly develop before making its way into the Caribbean maybe as a weak tropical cyclone. So let's now go ahead and take a look at what models have to show and we are starting out with GFS and uh, this is a map showing those isobars which are the black lines. So when we see them in a circular manner with uh, an L that is indicating a low pressure system that can sometimes be tropical cyclones and the more of those circular lines we see the stronger the system is and the colors those greens yellows they indicate the precipitation rate so this is as we head out to next tuesday the 25th of july and here we can see this low pressure area to the east of the uh, windward islands and so as we head into wednesday though it approaches with all this activity and we're not seeing anything strong or defined we're not seeing those circular isobars which indicates that uh, this will likely approach maybe as a strong tropical wave and uh before I go on to the next models, guys, I want to get it out there clear that even if we're talking about a tropical wave, if you are in areas such as Grenada or Trinidad, you would know for a fact that sometimes when these strong tropical waves move through, they result in a lot of flooding. And uh, sometimes you might be under even a tropical storm watch when a storm is passing by and uh, you don't experience as much. But sometimes these waves, they move through and they induce a lot of rainfall and cause a lot of uh, extensive flooding so that is a major concern with these tropical waves uh, it is not that okay it's just coming as a tropical wave it's not a storm so uh, nothing to be worried about no it can still do as much damage so I want to get that out there to you guys uh, this is definitely something to watch and what we're seeing now is not even solid so let's go on to euro and as we head to next Tuesday here we have euro also not expecting that this will be anything defined just some activity moving in and then eventually as we head to uh, later on Tuesday there we see all of that uh, precipitation spreading across the Lesser Antilles and then eventually we don't see much but across the main development region we're seeing that next area of lots of moisture as we head to the end of next week could there be something else could there be another tropical wave that will try to develop so this is going to be the trend here of seeing these stronger waves moving off Africa moving in some of which will develop and so as we head to the Canadian model now as we head to Tuesday Canadian showing something more organized compared to the GFS and Euro. Uh, it is showing that we're going to have this low pressure system approaching with all this activity and eventually making its way across the Caribbean as a weak cyclone heading westward uh, as we're going to be heading into Thursday of next week. So uh, about a week out from now and then head into Icon. Icon also not expecting anything strong. So showing the system moving in as we head to uh, Tuesday going to Wednesday. So that is around the time when impacts will 
will likely be felt as we head into next Tuesday and Wednesday. And uh, we're seeing this consistency. They're not showing anything major, uh, especially GFS, which was at first showing some major hurricane up to the Bahamas and U.S. But that is not something that is uh, seen possible right now. This system is going to be battling a lot of dry air. And as I speak, let's go on to the Saharan earlier map. And uh, we can see here that there was a lot of abundant dust and dry air. As I said earlier in the video, some areas experiencing some hazy conditions going to the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and majority of the Lesser Antilles, Anguilla southward to Grenada, including Barbados, likely experiencing those hazy conditions. And it is also pretty dry across most of those spots. Oh, and also guys, I want to go to the Climate Prediction Center's Outlook map. Uh, so uh, this was issued on the 18th of the month, so earlier this week. And uh, we want to look at week two. So there we have the Caribbean over there. And we see these highlighted, uh, these colorful spots over there. So where we see the shades of green, that is indicating the possibility of above average rainfall. As the green gets darker, the chance increases. Similar with the possibility of tropical cyclone formation. So as we head from uh, that paler shade of red, that pinkish shade, go into that uh, more vibrant shade of red, and then that burgundy shade uh, indicating a pretty good chance of seeing something develop. And notice that heading across the main development region, go into the Eastern Caribbean, uh, above average rainfall possible, as well as tropical cyclone development within this time frame here from the 26th to the 1st of August. So uh, likely in association with that current disturbance and maybe another tropical wave because as we saw earlier on the Euro uh, forecast, we saw that next area of lots of uh, moisture, likely another tropical wave moving through. And so uh, even on the ensemble tracks in previous videos, I highlighted the fact that, that there was a new cluster of them expecting that another tropical wave could possibly become something out there. But that is for the future. Let's take it one day at a time here, but I'm just pointing out what is possible as we head further out into the next several days. And so what is happening across the region though? So let's go on to the satellite imagery. So uh, let us kickstart things looking at Northern South America. And here we are seeing that uh, there is some thunderstorm activity developing across parts of Venezuela, Northern Guyana. Also in Colombia, we see some activity and going over into French Guiana as well. So it's likely that there's going to be some more activity developing as the afternoon goes on. But things should clear up as we head to tonight and into tomorrow morning for many spots. ABC Island's pretty dry, much not going on for Panama right now uh, over there in the west. But let's go further back into the east. East. And here we see that there isn't much across Trinidad and Tobago, and most of the Lesser Antilles are in the clear right now. As I said earlier, as I showed you guys earlier, that Saharan dust is in the region, so it's helping to stabilize conditions, thus inhibiting any major rainfall activity. So nothing crazy going on. Most of the action is over in the northwestern Caribbean. So head into parts of Central America, Cuba, uh, even in the vicinity of the Cayman Islands, uh, Grand, Grand Cayman specifically, there was some activity similar so for some parts of Jamaica, especially uh, across southern and eastern parishes let me know what happened for you guys through today but for my area it was rather gloomy and uh things got a bit sunnier and windy as well as we head to the afternoon so uh there was a lot of activity developing across parts of cuba and even near andrews island in the bahamas and there's some cloud cover in some spots there similar to for uh, florida so nothing crazy is going on across the region right now so that is what is happening this afternoon guys and i will keep you posted as time goes by and so if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments. I will respond once I get the chance and as always remember to be weatherwise.